Well, look at that. I don't know if I shared with you guys how I fix this, but I took this stuff called Fuse It, which is the same stuff I used on the AstroTurf on the roof, and I just put down a bunch of caulking here and here, and then put like 100 pounds sacks on it overnight, reinstalled it. It's working. I'm happy. Um, next up, you see this? No, obviously you don't. There you do. Okay, so <laughs> this is a RV water inlet. It's missing a piece in the middle. It's in the back. I'll show you why. This is probably the wrong kind of cement, but I'm going to use it anyways. It is a black PVC adhesive. This, I'm going to drill into the wall uh, in the bus, and then it closes. This is where I'll be putting the water in there to fill up the water tanks. To the left, top left, is a air vent. All right, here is the vent piece, and I'm actually glad I did not glue it yet <laughs> because this has to fit through the other piece. So I'm gonna pause. I'm glad I didn't didn't do that yet. That would have been bad. So I have this rigged up. It's gonna go this and this is the wrong size. So that actually will fit in there, unfortunately. See that? We don't want that. We, we want it to go into this tubing, but the tubing is too large. See that? So what I rigged up was a double-sided thing. It's basically this. I'm going to glue it. It's going to fit inside. Everything is going to be wonderful and happy. Uh, I just have this piece of thing there just to be extra secure, I guess. Probably don't need it. It's going to go like this. It's going to be glued. It's going to be awesome. It's going to go right up there. That right there is my outline. Vertical, I gotta cut through. Here, let me show you the other side of that. See how level we are? We are a little bit down from there. Uh, I don't know, that far? So let's follow that around. So we will be cutting out right here somewhere. Um, right by the pizza emoji. And that means I gotta drill first, and then I gotta go to Home Depot and rent a jigsaw and cut through. But I think first we'll just take a drill and make four points there and then connect them afterwards. Since I have to rent a tool, might as well do part of the work here for being on the clock, you know what I mean? So I'm just gonna leave this like so. All the way zoomed in. There we go. All right, let's drill. All right, guys, here we go. Here is the damage. The damage is done. And by damage, I mean amazingness. So I think I think I got lucky, too, because uh, that could get in the way of this little plastic thing. Where I put it? Right here. Hopefully... It's not, and I think I totally lucked out. Look at that, it's gonna be nice and flush. See that? Yes. All right, so, I have to go back to the hardware store. I've done like more than 10 trips in two days, and I'm not upset that I haven't brought you with me, because that would have just been a Yeah, compared to very little work that I've done. So. I'm gonna go get a uh, jigsaw, and I'll see you guys back here. I'm back from the depot. Turns out they don't rent jigsaws. I was thinking to myself, man, surely you can't be serious. So I got a pair of shears instead. Yeah, I don't really know if this is gonna work. Ugh. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Perhaps, perhaps not. All right, I'm gonna put this down for a sec. Here we have the ugliest hole known to mankind. All right, here's the update. Definitely not the cleanest job. Didn't have the, uh, the right tools. And I wasn't about to buy a hundred something dollar jigsaw just to fix one silly thing here. So that's what we're looking like right now. Uh, 
I'm just gonna vacuum this up. All right, here's what it looks like. Uh, it's kind of mounted just for fun. So just kind of press it in there. And get it back in there. And then that shuts and then locks. So clearly I'm gonna have to put some kind of uh, caulking adhesive uh, silicone around the edges. And then on the inside, if I can get up here, looks like I'm gonna have to cut out a little bit more of this bottom part there. Um, and possibly some of this wood too, because my little attachment friend is not going to fit like that. So, gotta get out the drill again. All right, proper size uh, hole is uh, drilled and the wood has been bored out a little bit for the downpipe. Next step, I'm going to glue this to this. Okay, here we go. A little messy, but I think this is gonna work. Only one way to find out. <laughs> All right guys, this is what the setup looks like. I still have to put some silicone on the outside. Um, well, out for change. A little shower today. For shower day. Um, I don't know if I locked this. Anyways, you guys get the idea though. It goes into this grotesque looking hole that I made. Just like so. And then it will be drilled into place here, 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 here. Once this door is open. And... The inlet right there is glued on with some uh, threaded hosing with a, an adapter in a larger size, which goes down all the way right there. So, then the pump takes water out of this corner right here. Uh, it's a self-regulating uh, pump. Um, and... Um, a little on off switch is going to go here, so that's it for right now. Um, had uh, another exhausting day, tons of errands. I'm super tired. <laughs> it's been a long day. So, I will see you guys manana. Uh, once this is done, I'm hitting the road again. And then it's back to the scheduled programming of adventure, of van life, of traveling, of daily vlogs. And uh, looking forward to a very exciting summer, fall, and winter. And hopefully by then, I can start to make money from this channel. And then I can be doing this indefinitely. Alright, talk to you guys later.